A warm greeting. Today is Wednesday, September 11, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be talking specifically about several systems located in the tropical Atlantic, including the newly designated Tropical Depression No. 7 of the season, which will soon become Tropical Storm Gordon as it moves toward the west-northwest. Additionally, we will discuss Invest 92 and the recently designated Invest 94, which remain weak and are expected to maintain a trajectory to the northeast of the Caribbean. But before discussing these disturbances and Tropical Depression No. 7, I wanted to mention that Hurricane Francine is currently making landfall in southeastern Louisiana. It is now 4.30 p.m. local time. So let's hope the residents of Louisiana and Mississippi do not suffer too much damage from this tropical cyclone which will begin to weaken rapidly as it moves over the United States. The Atlantic has become quite active this week. First, we have Invest 94 and Invest 92, which fortunately have a low chance of cyclonic development, because they are surrounded by stable and dry air, preventing their development. However, over the weekend, they could bring some rain to the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, though it is unlikely they will arrive as tropical cyclones. Additionally, the National Hurricane Center has marked the area to the southeast of South Carolina and North Carolina, with a 20% chance of cyclonic development. A frontal system will move through the region, and a low-pressure system could develop there, with some potential for development before entering the eastern United States. Here at Hurricane Info, I'll be monitoring this situation and will record a video when necessary. Now, the newly formed tropical cyclone, Tropical Depression No. 7 of the season, is related to what was Invest 93 which today was classified by the National Hurricane Center as the seventh tropical depression of the season. Let's look at the visible satellite image of Invest 92 and 94. Both are low-pressure systems developing areas of thunderstorms that remain disorganized for now, but the circulation of Invest 94 is well-defined. However, the dry, stable air surrounding both systems' circulation will prevent significant cyclonic development. For example, the National Hurricane Center gives Invest 94 only a 10% chance of development, while it maintains a 30% chance for Invest 92. The good news is that any opportunity for cyclonic development will only last the next 24 hours, and we cannot rule out the formation of a short-lived tropical depression, but it will not arrive as a tropical cyclone to the Caribbean. As I mentioned, we only anticipate some rain over the weekend, between 20 to 50 millimeters, for the northern Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico, so nothing to worry about. Now, speaking about Tropical Depression No. 7, note that it is projected to soon become a tropical storm, and the National Hurricane Center forecasts it will remain relatively weak over the next five days. In the long term, global models show that it could develop into a hurricane. Here is the GFS model projection which shows a hurricane moving over open waters of the Atlantic in about eight days. The European model also shows a hurricane in about eight days moving over open waters. The good news is that this future tropical storm, and possibly a future hurricane, is expected to remain over the open waters of the Atlantic, and we are confident in this trajectory. For example, look at the different scenarios shown by the GFS Ensemble model members. All of them keep a trajectory over the open Atlantic waters, without posing a threat to the Caribbean or the Americas. The Ensemble members of the European model also agree with these projections. After Hurricane Francine passes over the United States, we do not currently have any imminent cyclonic threats. We will stay alert to the disturbance expected to develop just east of the United States, and the future tropical storm should maintain a path far from land. Still, here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to monitor any disturbances emerging from Africa as we are in the peak of the season. To make sure you don't miss any content from Hurricane Info, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red subscribe button, and then click the bell to receive notifications when I record new videos. Tomorrow, I will update this forecast. Until then, goodbye.